Strong, Chairperson of the World Scout Committee, to address to the conference. Rick, please. My goodness. Thank you, Mario. I concluded in the middle of that video that after the, the Haiti video, there's nothing more to be said. Um, look at the power of volunteers in the world of scouting. It's unbelievable. Uh, scouts and scouters, ladies and gentlemen, once again, good afternoon. We have a very busy week planned as we celebrate the vitality of scouts around the world. Let me begin by thanking once again the Brazilian Scout Association for the monumental effort that they've put forward in organizing this event. Uh, their attention to detail has been very impressive. And on behalf of the World Scout Committee, the World Scout Bureau, Bureau and all of us at WISM, we thank you immensely. Let's give them a big hand. These last two and a half years since our 38th World Scout Conference in Korea have been interesting, challenging, very busy, and I think very productive. The World Scout Committee, which is now comprised of not only 11 members elected by the World Scout Conference, but also six regional chairpersons, the chairman of the World Scout Foundation, the WISM Treasurer, and the Secretary General have met regularly throughout this triennium. In addition, the steering committee, which includes myself, our two vice chairmen, Mario and Simon, and Luke Panasso, the secretary general, have met numerous times uh, via telephone conversations, and I think I speak with Luke at least once or twice a week. We've also been wisely advised uh, by the youth advisors who serve on, our, on the World Scout Committee. They attended all of our meetings, they brought fresh, vibrant you know, wisdom to our discussions. Much of the progress we made is due to the credit of those five youth advisors. Additionally, we set up effective system, a, an effective system of subcommittees and task forces, all of whom we will hear from during the course of this conference. These groups have achieved sterling work during the shortened triennium, and the product of their endeavors will be brought to you as proposals to this World Scout Conference. Our primary goal during the last two and a half years, our primary goal during this triennium has been to change the culture of World Scouting by focusing attention, the attention of the World Scout Committee, the World Scout Bureau, and the six regional offices on providing meaningful, useful service to our NSOs. I'm sure by now most of you are familiar with the new organization chart that you're going about, about to see. Uh, but I introduced this at our first meeting after the uh, Congress, uh, the conference in Korea, and we, I, we refer to this as the upside down triangle, upside down pyramid. Hello, upside down. <laughs> it's sort of short at the bottom and it's wide at the top, and well, it'll, it'll appear. But this was really our way of, of articulating how we might change the culture of scouting in a positive way. The, this presentation of scouting, this upside down pyramid, is not only an organization chart, but much more importantly, it's a philosophical statement redefining who we are and who we're here to serve in the world of scouting. And where does the key leadership responsibility fall throughout scouting? You'll notice that scouts and the youth of the world are, you know, the only reason we exist. That's obvious. And they sit at the top of the organization chart. They are ultimately the most important people in scouting. The volunteers at each national scout organization have the greatest influence over the quality of the scouting program in their country. Only volunteers in Haiti can help design an effective scouting program to serve their young people. So it's the National Scout Organization that has to do most of the work. These volunteers are responsible for the care and feeding of their scouts and the growth of the movement. 
The regional leaders and professional staff are there to provide training and inspiration and resources that the national scout organizations need so that they can be effective and successful in their mission. And the World Scout Committee at the very bottom of the organization chart is, is responsible for, for providing the resources and the vision and the global coordination of scouting around the world so that the regional leadership and the NSOs can be successful. This model, not too complicated, pretty easy to, to understand, this model ref reflects a significant cultural change for world scouting and will take some time to be fully understood and embraced. But if we've made good progress during this triennium, this new approach to management of World Scouting has been adopted by the World Scout Committee, the World Scout Bureau, and most of the regional leadership. Time will tell whether or not it will positively improve scouting service to the youth of the world. But let me be absolutely clear that for most of us in scouting, it is our job to assist the national scout organizations in the success of their work, of your work. The World, scouting, World Scout Committee started this triennium by prioritizing the work that the 38th World Scout Conference expected of the committee of the World Scout Bureau to carry out during these two and a half years and to identify the resources necessary to complete these tasks successfully. Based on that analysis, we drew up the triennial plan, which was sent to all national scout organizations and has been the blueprint of our efforts since Korea. A midterm report was sent to all NSOs and a full review of the 2008 to 2011 triennial plan is being presented to this World Scout Conference in a variety of ways through written reports the USB key, which each, which each of you has received or will be distributed at the conference, all conference participants, um, over the next week. While we may not have achieved every aspect of our ambitious plan, I believe we made significant progress in a number of most important areas. The first of these would be that World Scouting continues to grow. We now count more than 31 million members worldwide continuing to promote and encourage an, an honest and well thought through st strategy for growth that not only increases membership in numbers, but also to improve the quality of the scouting program for young people and volunteer leaders and the adults that serve the program. WISDOM has been working on this strategy for scouting and its seven strategic priorities for a number of years now. It was launched in 1990, or 1988 Adopted in 2002, the strategy has permeated the movement. Proposals are being brought forward to this conference, which will enable us to move on to an even more dynamic, more challenging, and even more enthusiastic program that we offer the NSOs. The proposals for the development of the registration fee system, including a freezing of the fees, at the current levels for the next three triennia will be presented. Through the work of the Governance Task Force, we have drawn up radical proposals to change the way the volunteer and the professional structures of WISM work at both the regional and the world levels. We are also proposing that some young people under the age of 30 be elected every three years to the World Scout Committee. These proposals are coming to the, this World Scout Conference as proposed amendments to the WISM Constitution. If these proposals and changes to the strategy for scouting are adopted, and I sincerely hope they will be, we will stimulate the re-engineering and restructuring of the World Committee and its subcommittees and task forces, the World Scout Bureau's office in Geneva and in the regions, and we will better serve NSOs. The Secretary General, since March of 2009, has been working very hard to strengthen the links between the central and regional offices and to, imp and to improve the coordination and the support that they provide to NSOs. We want to be much more effective than we have been in the past in communicating the successes and the achievements of NSOs around the world to everyone within WISM. 
Successful scouting programs in one country or one region might indeed inspire similar programs in other NSOs around the world. During the past during the last two years, members of the World Scout Committee have been very active in traveling to regional meetings to spread the good news of scouting. We have made significant progress in using new technologies that are much more appropriate to a vibrant organization in the 21st century. The USB key, again, which you have or will receive, uh, is much more effective than sending you piles and piles of paper uh, that few will read. We want to assist NSOs in developing their own communication strategies. And regional communications forums that have taken place in the last couple of years uh, during this triennium will be a key factor in providing that support. In terms of the World Scout Foundation, we have made enormous progress in reestablishing a climate of mutual trust. We must continue to display exemplary cooperation and take advantage of the World Scout Foundation's large network of philanthropic friends around the world. As to our Secretary General uh, and Regional Directors, during this triennium, we conducted an active, transparent, participative search for our new Secretary General. In March of 2009, the World Scout Committee appointed Luke Panasso to this position, and Luke has worked very hard to lead the World Bureau and support the World Scout Committee as we try to focus on providing goal-oriented leadership to World Scouting. We've also appointed three new regional directors in Africa, Eurasia, and the Inter-America regions. These are important leadership positions, and we believe we have found three first-class people to tackle their challenging responsibilities. As to pick our cane, after long, complex, and sometimes difficult negotiations, we have finally succeeded uh, in a, a satisfactory solution uh, to that long-term problem, the site of the uh, 1998 World Jamboree in Chile. We have sold the 76% interest in that uh, property, um, and we, have, we will now save $200,000 a year plus uh, that that project was draining from our annual scout budget. I agree. <laughs> there remain a few challenges, continuing challenges that need to be dealt with or which need to be dealt. Early in the triennium, the Secretary General and I met with a worldwide company in, in evaluating corporate headquarters. It's called the Mercer Company. They're a human resources firm. We desperately wanted to hire Mercer to help us identify the most productive, the most effective headquarters city for world scouting. Unfortunately, the cost of their services was prohibitive, and it would have, been, it would have significantly impaired and been inappropriate to spend the money that was required given our other priorities and budget constraints. We are now undertaking uh, that fact-finding study in other ways and would hope to provide NSOs with the results of that analysis in the near future. As I've alluded to several times in this, today, this indeed has been a shortened triennium, only two and a half years since the last World Scout Conference in Korea. The next triennium will exist for three and a half years and the new World Scout Committee, therefore, will have a longer time of continuous leadership. There remains unfinished business to be accomplished before we can be satisfied that WISDOM is on the right track and moving confidently in the right direction. The spirit and the message of the Upside Down Pyramid must continue. We must gather all of the forces, all of the leadership, all of the resources from the bottom to the middle to close to the top of the Upside Down organizations so the NSOs can be effective at their work. The theme of this conference is leaders and innovation, and we want to challenge and inspire leaders throughout the Upside Down Pyramid to assume responsibility. We want you to assume responsibility for innovative leadership. We want you to be active, we want you to be res responsible, be creative, be effectively helpful to every National Scout organization in this room and around the world. 
We are here to serve young people, we're here to serve scouts, and we can only do that if NSOs have the, the resources and the inspiration and the understanding of how to empower the character of their scouts. Leaders of in innovation ultimately are mentors to the youth of the world. In closing, I would like to ask, we'll have to turn the lights up, uh, in closing, I'd like to ask all of the National Scout organizations, all the volunteers and professionals of the National Sco Scout organizations in this room, please stand. Whether you're a delegate or a uh, observer, whether you're a volunteer or professional, please stand. So in closing, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to every single person in this room. When you look in the mirror in the morning, remember that the chairman was speaking to you. Uh, all of us, again, at the bottom of the upside down pyramid, the World Committee, the chairman, want you to be able to be well informed and we want to help you spread the good news of scouting as we continue the journey of our second 100 years. You are a magnificent organization of volunteers serving more young people than any other organization in the entire world. And if we are working together as a united team of volunteers and professionals, we can continue to stimulate the growth of scouting and to help this world be a safer place in which to live, to work, and to prosper. I thank each one of you so much for everything that you do for scouting. Be inspired by those volunteers in Haiti. I have been honored to serve as your chairman. I thank you very much. Thank you.